What's up, everybody? We are here live from the red carpet at the Cannabis Business Awards, and I am joined by one of tonight's big winners, uh, winner of the Cannabis Cultivation Achievement Award, the owner of Rare Dankness, Mr. Scott Reach. Scotty, how are you, man? Good, man. It's always nice to come out and uh, you know walk home with some uh, some uh, hardware, some bling, yeah, some bling, man. yeah. Always. So uh, you are you up for two awards tonight, right? Too. You also up for MVP. Yeah, MVP as well. But the uh, this is the this is the good one. The big I mean, one's always yeah. the cultivator. Yeah. 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 So uh, have you been uh, have you been nominated before? Have you won before? Uh, I think last year we were nominated for you know best brand or something. But yeah, this is our first, first award. Win. Oh, fantastic, man. Well, it's no wonder, man, with the facility that you guys have built here in Denver. I mean, holy cow. I mean, tell us a little about it. I've seen the photos. I've heard some of the rumors. It's it's beyond impressive. Tell us a little about this place, the ha the House of Dankness. Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, yeah, it's uh, 54,000 square feet, uh, fully automated, um, basically about a state of the art of a cannabis production or agriculture production facility that's in the U.S. right now. Uh, really where the automation helps us is it keeps my uh, work uh, workforce low, which helps our overhead. So I run about a, a third of your typical workforce. A facility of my size would typically have 100 to 120 workers in it. Uh, I have 30 of the most hardworking guys that are out there. Um, yeah, we'll be opening the uh, dispensary, the House of Dankness, here in Denver, uh, December the 16th. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's the date. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be wild, man. It uh, it's one of the most beautiful shops I've ever seen. My wife did an amazing job designing it, uh, and all the buds that we have ready, and shatter, and wax, and all the product we have ready is uh, is way above what you typically find in your uh, retail dispensary or medical dispensary here in Colorado. Oh, dude, you're gonna have line. You're gonna have people sleeping overnight, like for I iPhones and sh shit, man. I'm telling you. I've seen the photos on on uh, social media of just the place going up and the place now near completion. It looks just spectacular, like like Disneyland for for cultivation. You know, it's uh, I, I gotta say I, that's why I was I had called you because I said I'm in town. I'd really love a little sneak peek of it, a little pre-opening uh, peek because uh, I'm flying out. I won't be here for the grand opening, so I gotta I can't go home and not see this amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the the eighth one wonder of the world man I love it thank you yeah we're uh, we're really excited I mean as as nervous as I possibly can be about having lines in December Colorado weather <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah we have people already booking plane tickets and booking hotels and you know all that it's 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 very humbling man it's very humbling it's awesome well I know how much hard work and how much investment you put into that place not just money but blood sweat and tears and love and everything and uh, I'm, I'm really happy for you. I hope it's immensely successful. I'm sure it will be, and uh, I look forward to seeing it, man. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Well, thanks for joining us, Scott. Uh, have, the, have a great rest of your evening, and happy holidays to you and your family, man. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it, Bobby.